How's it going guys? Thank you very much for clicking on my video. This is a tutorial I've been meaning to make for a while. I want to get straight into it, but just before I do, if you find this video helpful, please consider giving me a like or even subscribing to the channel. If you've got any feedback or suggestions for songs, let me know in the comments. And with that out of the way, let's go. All right, so as you probably already know, the original sample that's used in this track is played very, very freely. And this makes it a little bit harder to teach and a little bit harder to learn because there's no real rhythmic pulse to use as a sort of benchmark to know where, when to hit the notes, basically. So my advice for when learning something that's played uh, very freely is to just play the notes, and not worry about the rhythm, but just play them really slowly and make sure you've got all the fingers right. And we'll go through this a little bit more in the lesson. So now for the actual piano part, what I'll do is I'll go through a phrase at a time and then put it all together at the end nice and slow. Okay? Okay, so this is what our first phrase looks like. All right, so let's break it down. We'll start in the left hand as it's a bit more difficult. These are the first four notes. And I'm holding the pedal down for all of that. Okay, so you play those first four notes. Then the next four notes, same thing, except we play this D on the top instead of the C sharp. So first time, second time, don't worry about the rhythm yet, we're just going to learn the notes. Then we go back down these notes and then we play it the first time again. Like that. Okay, so the full thing is. And then the rhythm sounds something like this. Okay. Roughly that's the rhythm, so really listen to that. That's kind of what you're aiming for. Don't try and play at that speed straight away. Like I said, just play it. Just make sure you've got those notes down very confidently. So for the right hand, we're playing these four notes. So. And for the rhythm of those notes, you've probably got a better idea than the left hand because it's much more audible in the song. Okay, but with the left hand, it looks something like this. Play these first four notes. Then we do the right hand. So, then next part of the left hand, around the time we hit this D is when we hit the E up here, something like that, and we finish off the bit in the left hand, a bit slower. our first phrase. Next phrase looks like this. All right, so starting in the right hand this time. Those are your notes. That's, the, that's when it's quite fast. Let me hit that G sharp again. And then we want to hit these octave E's. playing that. And with the right hand we go, when we hit that A it's when we hit this uh, F sharp. Okay. Then we hit these G sharps at the same time as well. So that's, that's a nice easy bit rhythmically. Then we do the so that A comes in a little bit later, slightly delayed. So first two phrases put together. And then for the final phrase. Okay, so playing the left hand, we're going up this A major 7 arpeggio, followed by this three note arpeggio, that. The rhythm there is something like this. Those first three notes are faster. Something along those lines, and with the right hand, we're playing 
these two notes, followed by these two notes. And then those hands together look something like this. Okay. And those are the three main phrases. So I'll play through the whole thing a little bit slower than normal and then play it at full speed so you can get a better idea. sped up a bit. So I'm not playing it exactly the same every time. I am playing it very freely, but obviously after listening to the song, I have a good idea of where the right hand melodies come in. The only real reference points for, in terms of rhythm, is the beat one where it starts and beat one of the next bar is when that note comes in. I recommend just really listening to the sample, making sure you're really confident with the notes and the rest will just follow. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.